Okay, here it goes. I mean, you know, it's edited later. Um, Wait, is it streaming streaming? I think so. Yeah, I think it's starting now. Seven minutes to go. Um... Oh, wait, it's starting right now? I think so. Because <laughs> it's starting. <laughs> Let me just, like... Okay. Let's see. But, um, don't we have to see the... Yeah, it should be like, there should be like a notification coming up, like, yes, oh. yeah, I think it's a little bit of a backlog, but, oh wow, that's a lag, yeah, and then it says, you're live, oh, we're on, okay, wow. I just can see the chat, oh, I can see floor pie, okay, we're on, <laughs> <laughs> But this is really weird because it's super delayed. Yeah. Let me see if like, like we can pop this chat out or something. Hmm. Pop out. Like you can see the stats here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna say hi. the sound. Yeah, how's the sound? We can't really see ourselves actually. Yeah, we can shift like to more real-time views here. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, that's easier. Yeah, that's easier. And I'm um, gonna see if we can like pop the chat out. Here. Yeah. Oh, loud and clear. Awesome. All right, cool. I'm just gonna minimize this. Okay, Marvin says hi. Okay. All right. So, I think we should get started. Like, okay, we have like four minutes, so we'll just wait for people to come in, and then okay, we'll start. Okay. We don't actually have to see ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's kind of confusing. Cause yeah, it's so like so many windows open yeah. and stuff. Okay, we don't need to see ourselves. We can just like look at more. We can just hope that we look decent. Decent. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. It's displaying like this. Okay. Yeah. So much black light. But no, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. You're like an angel with a halo. Okay. <laughs> I can do the halo. <laughs> okay. Um, just checking everything's okay. Yep. Yeah, there's definitely a delay of some kind. Is it this room? No, could be the Wi-Fi or something. Six percent that. Okay, as long as you guys can hear, it's loud and clear. Yeah, should be good. So apparently, this is Lilia's first AMA. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, there's Engine watching. <laughs> Hi, Relly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the engine community in the house. Yeah, engine community, come on in. <laughs> okay. <Aww>. Yes, adventures <laughs> assemble. <laughs> oh wow, this is cool. 
So where's most of your um, audience? Is it? Or, Do you mean like Asia based? Asia yeah. based. Yeah. Okay, so this is all a good. This is a good time for them. I hope so. They could be. Everyone's stuck. eating dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey guys. All right. <laughs> Woohoo! I think this is like gonna be like engine dominated. I don't know mm -hmm. where all the coiners are. Like, where's all the Where's all the coiners? Yeah. Come on in. Um, uh, it's got a pink panda. And ask him to like start telling people to come over. Okay. Um, we're still early. We still have one more minute. Yeah, one more minute to go. My slacks like. Not that I can see, it says the live stream recording not available. Hmm. It's live. Yeah, it's live. Well, someone can see us. A couple people can see us, I imagine. Yeah. This is my first AMA, so I don't know how this works. Yeah. Tammy, don't freak me out. <laughs> okay. Alright, 39 people watching, so let's start. Okay, let's start. Cool. Alright. Um, <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to our live stream. Um, today, uh, I'm having Lilia, Richard, Engine, CMO, um, and I'm Catherine, the marketing head for Quine. Uh, we're here to just do this, you know, um, sort of informal AMA, I want to keep it like a casual chat. I don't want to freak Lily out. Oh my god, I'm freaked out. It's just the first <laughs> I'm already freaked out. So yeah, we're going to keep it cat. <laughs> and um, Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. And um, we're really excited because, um, you know, it's our first AMA together as well. Like, yes. I, I like um, meet up with Lilia you know, at these kind of events, like blockchain events and stuff. And then um, it's it's really exciting to actually like sit next to her and have like <laughs> <laughs> yes one on one uh, uh, one on one yeah, yeah we've always it's... been trying to work out you know how yeah, we can do this I know and um, so when she agreed to do the AMA I was like yes yes more female representation what? in crypto and yeah you know Lilia's hot and smart and everything <laughs> so you know I've told her like this AMA will be a hit yeah so. Let's okay. get started. Way to um, set it up. <laughs> yeah, the big intro. Okay, the big reveal. So, anyway, um, just to give a bit of background to anyone, to everyone who's watching, Engine. Um, here's a little bit about Engine. It's a decentralized cryptocurrency and virtual goods platform for gaming. So it's basically like a platform to create, manage, distribute, and trade virtual goods. And it's gaming focused. I guess um, gaming developers and content creators just a whole new way of like owning um their uh. Uh, goods online and also with their gameplay it allows like minting unique game items currencies virtual to tokens using engine coins as a parent currency so all these assets can be converted back to engine tokens anytime and engine's mission is to bring you know the value of fairness and purpose to gaming um to really like enrich gamers experiences protect them from like malicious fraudulent players enable them to truly own their items and characters. So really giving back ownership to the gamer. And also they're also helping build the ecosystem by helping the game developers use like ethical monetization models that actually don't prey on human psychology, but really powered by intrinsic value of like deriving um, not just like through fraudulent means, but through like authentic ways of um, how they should actually discover, explore, create new genres of games. And they're all art focused at its core. So it's it's very interesting. Um, Lilia, I, I know you can definitely say a lot more. No, actually, I, I think you just did my entire job. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was gonna you just, yeah. you summed it up. 
I, I was going to go to the first question, which is to okay. describe your project and then you, and the problem it's trying to solve. So, like, maybe um, is there any anything you can add on to my description of your project? Okay. Um, so we're actually solving multiple things, um, but one of the key things that we're solving is um, item ownership, like true item ownership. Um, so the way it works is that a developer would uh, use SDKs, so mm -hmm. um, software development kits, mm -hmm. and they will use that to integrate Engine Coin into their game. Mm -hmm. And um, so basically they would take a couple of Engine Coins and they would turn it into a digital asset. So we call this process minting. And um, uh, these digital assets are game items like a sword, or um, a magical staff, or mm -hmm. like a house, or you know, it could be anything. It could even be a planet. Mm -hmm. And then, so what the gamers can do with these digital assets is they can earn them, or they can purchase these digital assets, and then they would own it in their own wallet. So because they're in a wallet, they aren't, um, they're not bound to a game server. So that's what we call true item ownership. Mm, got it. Wow, and that's very interesting. Like, yeah. I'm like can you just maybe give me an example of like, say, if I were playing a game, yeah, um, like an RPG or something, um, and like I said, I want to buy some armor or a sword, can I purchase it in directly with like engine tokens? As oh, yeah, to yeah. Like so you can actually use um, anything. You can use Fiat. It's like a regular in-game item that you have right now, right. but with all the benefits of being on the blockchain. So that means that you actually own this item. It's sitting there securely in your wallet. You you don't have to be scared of hackers or um, the game shutting down or um, mm -hmm. the server stopping or you quitting the game. You know, you would always own that item. Oh, right. Okay, so if I were to play an online RPG and um, like I'm playing... Do you play online RPGs? Uh, well, my brother does. <laughs> I, I used to play. I played like Baldoski for like a little while, and then my dad stopped me because it was getting too intense. Oh, it's getting too intense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So say say I'm I'm playing an online RPG, and then suddenly the game hangs, but I like just like bought this really expensive armor or something. Yeah. So that technically, I should be able to. Yeah, go so back and retrieve. So you would have it. You would own it. It would it would um it would verify on the blockchain and Got then it would have it. And then so then what happens is like gamers can just take these items right. and then they can trade them on um like regulated marketplaces. Right. They can trade them peer to peer. Right. Um and they can also this mm -hmm. is the special part is they can take the item and turn it back into engine coin. And mm. that's the process that we call melting. So we have um, developers melting minting, melt, melt. yeah, like melting <laughs> the, the item oh, okay, back into it. the coin. Okay, got yeah. it. Yeah. So we have minting and melting, and it's like this um, this oh, great ecosystem. That's so cool. I like that iron forge sort of color. Yeah, like so I was like forging analogy. a sword and then melting it back into its raw material, which is like the engine coin. Right. Okay, so for example, like, because I'm stuck in this RPG, and yeah. uh, suddenly, like, the game's over. Like, I've completed the yes, game. Yes, that's what happens. And, and I'm like... So what am I going to do with all my stash? Exactly, like, so, so exactly. So I can actually... So you can take your items it. and all your hard-earned, you know, your swords and everything, right. and you can convert it back down into engine coin, or you can trade it with other people that are just starting the game, for example. Oh, yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah, you I know, mean, because it depends. Yeah. It depends what the okay. developer, how they want to structure the game. Right, I see. Wow, yeah, that's that really helps, like you know, monetize the gamers' yes. abilities because, like, I mean, I mean, how many times would I want to kill Diablo, right? Exactly. Like, and, then, and then at one point I'll be like bored, and then exactly, like, yeah. then you want to carry on your goods <laughs> and your things, and you bring it into the next game. Right. Um, but it also incentivizes. Uh, gamers to really get stuck and invest in that game, knowing that okay, at any time I can pull out and I can um, I can melt this down into engine coin and mm -hmm. then use it for my other gaming experiences. And it right. also creates um, like crazy amounts of different types of gameplays that yeah. like never have been done before. Yeah. yeah, do you think that it would like really give like an upper edge to like 
gamers who actually hold engine and they come in as a newbie to the game and then suddenly they get all this... Um, well, it like, doesn't give them an, an exact advantage, right. but it would, um, cr it would make developers think of new and creative ways of gameplay. So, um, you know, like they would be able to maybe go from a fantasy game right. um, and then suddenly your character can be moved into a different fantasy game, for example. Right. There's like so many different ways I that, yeah, you can structure it. But ultimately, the developers have the power uh, to structure the game as they see fit. Got it, got it, understood. Yeah. So, um, moving on to the next question. Okay. Engine's been around since early 2009. That's like nine years, guys. Yes. Almost a decade already. I know. Gosh. How are you going to celebrate your like, 10th anniversary? Our 10th anniversary. I don't know. With yeah. a lot of engine coins <laughs> flying around, minting. <laughs> it's been a long time, definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Engine Engine as a company has been around since 2009. We launched as a social network and a CMS platform, which is like a content management system. So we provide mm -hmm. website creating software. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't call it software, but right. you know, the ability to create a website yeah. and um, and a social network kind of combined. So it's kind of like a Facebook and a WordPress stuck together for right. gamers. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so this this is what Engine has been doing before. Got it. Okay. And was the original like founding team still with? The, the, the company today. Yes, um, so pretty much all the founding members, so Maxim Blagov, Vitek Radomsky, uh, Volkov, Brad, Josh, all of us, we've all been working together for, you know, more than at least seven years. Oh, wow. Shout yeah. out to the engine team. Shout out to the engine team, Zach, Chris, yeah. <laughs> Relly, <laughs> yeah, all of, all of you guys. Yeah. So what made you decide, like, what would this, um, you know, uh, helped um, move Engine to evolve into like a cryptocurrency play? Um, yeah, so uh, so our Engine communities, um, they, they have a lot of different modules. So we have like shop modules, um, we have stores, we have forums, we have all the things that create a rich environment for a community. Right. And um, we have across the network, we have millions of dollars worth of virtual items being traded, and um, purchased, mm -hmm. and we've noticed that okay, there are there are issues with fraud, chargebacks, um, double spending, um, high fees. The, the the type of thing that blockchain completely solves. Mm -hmm. So jumping to blockchain and the, the technology that it serves was kind of like a no brainer. Yeah, got it. Yeah, and and then we noticed that okay, it's not only happening on engine, it's. Uh, the entire gaming universe, you know, like all of these places need, um, they need, you know, true ownership, gamers need true ownership, developers need a way to, um, to decide on how their items are being um, sold and traded um, in the other markets. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so crypto really, crypto and blockchain really just slots right into that. Got it. Can you help uh, show like an example of like how fraud can happen within a game, and then how like engine can help solve that? Okay. Well, I at the moment I would only suggest maybe things like item trading right. or um, I mean, how many of you have purchased using PayPal? Um, <laughs> anything like virtual goods? Um, the Minecraft servers, for example, on our site. Uh, they receive, you know, thousands of dollars worth of chargebacks in a month. So um, even just that alone could be fixed by using cryptocurrencies. Mm. Um, of multiple things, you know, when you when you have an item and you're trying to trade in the gray market and, and you don't really know that that person is going to give you that source. Right, got it. Yeah. You, you just mm -hmm. kind of, you close your eyes and you hope that it's just going to transact properly. Right, got it. So, yeah, so having these items securely in your wallet, you know, no one can hack you for it. Um, they can't fraud you for it because there is only one of that item. Mm. Um, that's, got it. It's very powerful. Yep, understood. So, um, in terms of like the CMS, do you still use it or you've Oh, just... yeah. Yeah, definitely. We have uh, 19 million users now oh, and wow. um, thousands and thousands of, of servers, game servers. Um, communities are all 
yeah, still using our CMS. It's going strong. Oh, wow. And then Engine Coin is just basically going to be like that. Um, medium of exchange for all these guys. For, like for that, but um, actually Engine is just kind of like the launching pad for Engine Coin. It's not just going to stay on Engine. It's going to expand to the entire gaming industry. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we're creating um, software development kits for every kind of game engine, every oh, single okay. game, so that any developer can take their game and plug it into the Engine ecosystem. That's amazing. It's and it's like all open source and they can all just open come source, in and, free. They can just you know take it and use it and um, see what they can come up with. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Like really giving back the power to develop to the developers, Definitely. empowering them. Yeah. And so that segues nicely into the next question. So last month you released an announcement about the Affinity Network. Can you tell us more about it? Okay. Um. So the Affinity Network is. I guess you can call it like a little lightning network um, okay. and what it will do is it will allow uh, it will allow just in, an infinite number of transactions to take place at once um, with a lot of speed oh, wow. and um, very very low cost. Did you say infinite? Infinite, <laughs> kind of like infinity. <laughs> so infinite. <laughs> oh, God, okay. So um. almost, yeah, so so pretty much just thousands of transactions. You will be able to handle millions of transactions um, right. because that's you know what's going to be happening with all the game items. Mm -hmm. um, but it would still be uh, verified on the Ethereum network, okay. so we still get that um, that benefit, mm -hmm. and we still solve the scalability issues. Okay, do yeah. you know when that's going to? So happen? that should be out uh, quarter three this year. Okay. Wow, that is definitely an exciting development. Definitely. Like, scalability is such a big debate in yes. blockchain. And yes. Crypto, I feel. And exactly. And we can't sit around waiting for um, someone to solve this. Right. So, we're going to just do it ourselves. And um, it'll be scaled mm. down because it's going to be just for our needs and for the, the gaming needs. Got it. Wow. And this, so, Affinity is just exclusively to Engine right now? Uh, yeah. So it will be it would be for the engine network and the engine coin network. Wow, that is really exciting. Yeah, I think you're probably one of the first gaming projects that I've heard I've heard to actually do like a yes. lightning network concept. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, it definitely it requires that. Like it wouldn't it wouldn't be able to function on just what we have now. It, it does require a lot of innovation in the space. Okay, great. And um, I think we need to touch a little bit on this question, but it's more in like. Can you actually explain more on how like these virtual items, these virtual goods, can be traded with Engine Coin, like okay. on blockchain? Yeah. Um. So so Engine Coin, well, the items, so virtual goods, can be traded uh, peer to peer, right? By using the Engine Wallet, it. Um, it can also be traded in game, like in an in game marketplace or an online marketplace, um, uh, but. The really cool thing also to note is that game developers can decide how far they want their items traded mm -hmm. um, by using whitelisting or um, or trading fees, and so this is a really big value proposition for for developers because right now developers are losing like up to forty percent of their revenue on the gray markets. Oh. Yeah, so that's a that's a really like gray markets like so you know like secondary markets where they're kind of like dodgily trading their items and right. the developers have no say in that you know they right. they just oh okay once Got their it. items are out there they don't really have a connection with it anymore mm -hmm. but um, we're allowing them to create whitelists so that they can only like approve certain marketplaces that could accept. Um, and be tradable there. I see. Got it. So, like, basically, anything that's trying to be sold off of, from a game that was played, mm -hmm. um, like, if you're going to gray markets, people will know. Okay, this is not. Yeah. Like, legitimate. This is not legitimate. Um, this is not you know sanctioned by the developer. Got it. Um, that's not real. <laughs> <laughs> and can the developer actually like I don't know um, deactivate or. Like basically take away that. No, they they would no they wouldn't actually be able to take away your item. 
because once you own that item, it's yours. Mm -hmm. But the tradeability aspect, they do have a say, but it's... Um, it starts at the beginning when they actually create the item and it will say, by the way, you can't trade this past this point. Mm. But if the developer is like, okay, it's a free-for-all, then you can trade it wherever you would like. I see. Yeah. So it's a very strong win-win for everyone, for the developers, for the gamers. Um, and, and the gamers will then be able to uh, take those items and it could be like a one-for-one trade. So. I could trade you a sword, and you can give me a uh, a rifle mm. or a gun. Okay, like a barter. Yeah, like thing. a bartering thing. Um, you can also have multiple items tradable. So, Go like, ahead. you can give me your um, used, um, I don't know, armor. Yeah. And I can give you like a laser gun and a spaceship. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So it could be like that. And this is all happening on the. Blockchain. On the blockchain, okay. wallet to wallet. Wallet to wallet, got it. Yeah. So you don't necessarily have to use Ending Coin per se? Per se, you don't have to. Got no. it. But you can also trade with Engine Coin to item. Right. Someone gives you Engine Coin, I give you a sword. Got it. Then uh, it could also be trading within just the game. So um, a developer can mint, say, thousands of. Um, currencies, or their in-game currencies, and thousands of items that only their players can trade amongst themselves. Oh. And then it could be also um, like a meta economy where um, it's like a universal platform where every single item is tradable um, that have engine coin value backed. Got it. Goods. Yeah. yeah. So Understood. it could be in-game or it could be like a universal massive economy of engine backed goods. Wow. It's, it's kind of like, I'm trying to imagine like Final Fantasy, like, <laughs> you know, actually using engine coins. Yeah, play, and, yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, I, I, yeah and it, it creates an entire universe, right? And I remember Universes, was, yeah, for some, sure. Yeah, and they even like had this part where they had a Malaysian like stall. <laughs> stall. Like, 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 I think challenge. you're hungry right now. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what's that doing in FF? Like, yeah, okay. So you yeah. are a gamer. Uh, I just saw it somewhere. Oh, it was because one of the lead developed like game. Like game developers is a Malaysian, so he wanted to oh, he throw wanted that to in. Show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like a bit of Malaysian culture for you. Yes. Okay, great. That's that's really interesting. So, on to the next question. Um, okay, how do you ensure virtual items are treated securely and that those items will not be hacked? Like. Oh, okay. Um, well, that's the beauty of the blockchain because mm-hmm. every single item is on the blockchain. You don't have to deal with double spending, hacks, um, everything is verified and uh, unique on the ledger. Yeah. So that part is taken care of. Um, as far as trading and securely trading, that's where the, um, the secure engine smart wallet comes in where um, anyone can trade with anyone using that wallet. Mm-hmm. And um, it's the securest, the securest, if that's a word, <laughs> <laughs> mobile, <laughs> mobile engine wallet. Okay. Um, and, and then also with Affinity, we're going to, not only is it going to be about scalability, it's also going to allow escrow trading. So um, that's cutting out the need for like a middleman and the need to, you know, verify transactions. And it's kind of like, so you can literally take your sword and your thing and it'll just swap oh wow yeah that's so amazing. that's that's the the beauty of escrow so like how many items can you the wallet accommodate like in terms of like is there like a max capacity oh no like i'm i'm sure it could just hold infinite numbers i mean that's the goal right is mm. is that you can hold you can just keep taking your items with you as you move along in your gaming life yeah wow yeah. it's like you're just gonna have like a heavy bag Heavy bag of, of <laughs> swords. <laughs> <laughs> All like locked up in your wallet. Got it. Yeah. That's so cool. Um, and so in terms of like, uh, so this is happening, like, okay, so in the real world, we have like inflation and we have like all these things, these, these real world issues, but like, do you actually, would engine in, in like the virtual have like this sort of problem problems as well? Like inflation um, issues, like, like how do you control like pricing of these items and all that. Yeah, so so developers will actually be able to choose. Um, we have six different token supply models. 
Um, wow, six different. Six different ones. Okay. Um, and they can choose depending on what kind of game they're building. Got it. Uh, factors could could be like um, what kind of gameplay they're doing, what kind of genre, um, what kind of monetization model that they have. Um, what are other factors? Like even the platform could affect the yeah. decision that they make, but they can choose like a fixed, a fixed uh, supply right. or um, a growing supply or a diminishing supply. Mm -hmm. So this kind of it really depends on what the developer wants to build. Okay, yeah. so he's essentially like setting his own monetary policy. Exactly, so, exactly. Yeah, within his own game. Okay. Within his own game, and it really depends on what they they want from the game. Got it. Okay, wow, that's amazing. And um, that's segueing nicely to the next question. Like, okay, so you can actually, so developers can mint and create their own currencies within yeah. their own in games um, or like universes. And how how does it work for the developer? Like, how do they go and create it? Do they um, go oh, to like the an in game currency? Yeah. So, actually, an in game currency. To create one is the same way that you would do to create just a regular item. So like oh, okay. it's the exact same as me creating um, 10,000 rifles mm -hmm. um, and it's the same as creating 10,000 gold coins. The only difference is just the game mechanics and how they set it up so that it's easily tradable um, as an in-game currency because like I mean I imagine the gold coins would be easily tradable um, versus trading with rifles. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and it depends on the rules of the game. As exactly. Well. Got it. Yeah. Got it. And and also they have to have that SDK installed. Yes, yes. Yeah. So depending on what which which uh, game engine that they're using, so like the Unreal Engine or the Unity 3D engine, so they can be using different SDKs for that. But it, it's all the same. Yeah. It's the same way you take an engine coin and you mint it and you turn it into a virtual good, which is it could be a, a in game currency. Got it. Yeah. So so basically you as a okay, say if I want I'm a developer and I want to use like um, and I want to use engine coins in my world, um, but in my world, I would say you know peg um, my currency or like maybe it could be like gold coins. Or yeah, something yeah, like real gold coins. Engine coins. To something. engine coins. Also, yeah. you would peg the value to engine. Is that uh, possible? I mean, you could do it, but you may as well just use engine. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, but like you can you can also peg it to you know the U.S. dollar, or you can you can peg it to anything, right? Um, it's got the flexibility to create your own currency. Got it. So the next question would be, um, I guess this was something we did cover before, like how does it benefit users um, using their own kind of in-game currencies versus yeah. using engine, engine directly? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Yeah. So um, the reason why you would do that is because um, it's all about intrinsic value. So, so kind of... Um, an example would be like if I had a sword mm -hmm. um, and it's worth one engine coin. Yeah. But because it's a rare sword, like maybe I killed a really huge boss with it and it's just really awesome and it's got all these <laughs> things on it. Um, it's a rare sword and that's the intrinsic value. And right. it can be worth a hundred times, a thousand times more than the, the one engine coin. I see. So similarly with like... Um, Sorry, quick question. Yeah. There. Like you said it could be worth... Um, so initially it was one engine one coin. One engine coin. But it's actually worth way, way more than yes. that. Yes, yes. So that's okay. the... So the one engine coin is the value-backed coin... Uh, value. Yeah. And the engine coin value. And the 100,000 times more mm -hmm. is the intrinsic value. So it's having to do with what the game provides. Got it. But why don't so, we just match the price and like the value of the engine coin? Oh, but then, it, but then it won't be, you'll be, you may as well just use engine coin. Right. But this gives it like, for example, um, if I create an in-game currency of gold coins, yeah. um, it will match the economy. So it will be based on the supply and the demand mm -hmm. within that world. Right. And it's not really affected by the supply and demand of engine coin. Okay, yeah, yeah, got it. Mm -hmm. Same with, like, it could be a utility coin where, say, I have a magical token and it's called Magic Token. Um, that's probably an ICO for Magic Token. <laughs> Let's say I have a Magic Token. Okay. And um, 
this magic token can also cast spells. Right. And it can also act as a currency. Okay. Engine coin can't do that. So that's mm. that's the intrinsic value for the magic token is that utility. Mm. Okay, got it. And yeah. what would be the intrinsic value for engine coin? So Engine Coin um, is the universal token that ties all these worlds, all these gaming worlds um, together. And it's okay. the trading platform for all of these items. Ah, so it's the base value. Got it. Okay, yeah. great. And um, so this is the other question. Will these minted coins have a value attached to it? and? I think you did say it. Yeah, it so it's the yeah. it's the the value of either engine coin or the intrinsic value. Mm, got it. Okay, great. And then moving into the ecosystem building part, where you're basically aggregating um, all the trading, uh, all the trading of various like games together. Like, who are some of your partners you can name for us? Okay, so uh, we over the last three months we have Godo, which is um, a powerhouse open source game engine. Mm -hmm. um, they're actually coming with us to the GDC. Actually, I didn't talk about the GDC. What's the GDC? So GDC is the Game Developers Conference, um. and it's like the biggest developers con game developers conference in the world. In the world. In the okay. world. Wow. And we have a, fun. <laughs> it's awesome. It's in San Francisco in March. Oh wow. Um, and that's, we have fun. it's next month. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. You're flying. <laughs> oh that's so cool. Yeah, so we have a huge booth uh, mm -hmm. next to Google, Intel, all oh, these wow. um, major players. And it's gonna just be great. If you're ever in San Francisco or um, hanging around there, just come by in the booth, pick up some swag. We have awesome t-shirts. You're giving away free swag? Yeah. <gasps> I know, I, I want some. Yeah. I'm going to get some of that. I'm, I'm like following her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be on the GDC. Asia. I will. I will bring some back. I will. Oh, you're printing it in the States? In the, yeah, oh, yeah okay. definitely. We're not going to Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So, yeah, but the, at the GDC, we're going to be demoing um, a, like a like a demo of the Unity SDK, and it's going to be like an actual game that you can experience. So it's going to be um, like a dungeon crawler. He's going oh, to be wow. crawling through. He's going to be collecting items, and you're going to see it appear automatically in the um, in the mobile wallet. Oh, so that's really yeah. exciting. We also have um, Minecraft mm -hmm. plugin that mm -hmm. we're going to be demoing there as well. Oh wow! You mean you can actually see the games happening within your wallet? Uh, you you won't be able to see the game, but you'll be able to see the item like you're playing, oh, you're right. collecting, and then boom, boom, it's in it's your okay. Uh, yeah. okay, you got it. Understood. Oh wow, that's amazing. So okay. yeah, uh, who? Uh, what other partners we have? Um, PC Gamer, and then we have our newest partner, which is amazing, is um, Energy Esports, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, they're they're a wonderful partner that we just we just announced like. Day before yesterday. Day so before we're very, yeah, yeah, we're very <laughs> excited. <laughs> um, but like, are these are these partners like overseas, based like out of Asia? Like, where's your like concentration? In terms um, of demographics? it's actually worldwide. It's really not specific to a um uh, an area. But right now, so Godo is I think based in the U.S. I'm mm -hmm. actually sorry, I don't know where Godo is <laughs> based. <laughs> you know, and so, um, yeah, but. Right but definitely, uh, Energy is um, a California base, so they're in America and okay. a big esports team there and big esports organization. Okay, got it. Okay, and then the last question before we just quickly look through like um, the AMA questions. Is, sure. Um, okay, everyone, yeah. So, Engine will be listed on Cryptos tonight, and yes. I just wanted to ask you personally, like, why do you, why did Engine choose to list on Cryptos? Okay. Oh. Uh, well, Coin is a, is a great exchange, um, and uh, Cryptos is a very secure platform for ICO listing, and um, it's also a very powerful trading engine um, in the in the crypto world, like crypto to crypto. And we noticed that um, Coin did their ICO on Cryptos.com, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's probably like one of the biggest races in Asia, uh, and no incidences, right? It's just so secure. They had no hacking, no uh, phishing, no none of that, um, which is really, really a testament to your security, right? That's amazing. So um, 
we we definitely appreciate a secure platform for traders and especially for our end holders that's what we value okay. um so yes that's we're very excited to be listed on cryptos oh thank you so much lily it's such a like a, i can't say it better myself uh, engine was one of the um very successful icos here in asia as well like you guys raised like what 90 or something uh 75,000 eth okay wow yeah. okay but- Okay, the valuation would have changed by now since if their own price has gone up. Yes, but at the time, it, that's about it was about twenty one million, twenty three million US dollars. Oh wow! Yeah, so it was a really good raise. We're very grateful to our all of our supporters. Um, our entire community is amazing. Oh. Yeah, and it's just growing. We have now eleven thousand people in our Telegram. Oh wow! Yeah. So um, yeah, and that's shout amazing. out to all of you guys in Telegram. Thanks for your support. We really appreciate it. They're always they're just a bunch of group of hodlers. Oh, um, that's great. Yeah, amazing community. I heard that Lilia is like the only like community manager. <laughs> no, I'm not the only community manager, no. but I do. Yes, okay. I do man the booth quite a lot. Um, uh, we do have um, all of our team members um, come in regularly. Even Maxim, the CEO, he comes in. The CTO,、uh, Vitek, comes in, updates the community. So. Um, it's it's just a really nice vibe there. That's amazing. Yeah,、uh, we've had like I think at crypto,、uh, in our coin chat, it's almost like yeah, thirteen k. Thirteen k. Yeah, we're we're yeah, we're yeah. Yeah, you guys have a great community. You used、Thanks. to be the CMO. Or... Yeah, I used to. I started the, the community, it. Yeah, yeah, but I handed the reins to Panda. Oh,、so、wonderful. He's, he's the guardian of the chat now. <sighs> That must have been hard. It's like passing off a baby. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> But、um, yeah, it's it's about empowering other people. I'm like, okay, Panda, here you go. Okay, yeah. yeah, and yeah, he, yeah he, he's funny. Like, if you were to ask Panda where he's from, he'll say he's from the forest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he'll like he's rejuvenating, eating bamboo. Oh,、uh, yeah. What? <laughs> uh, he's he's yeah.、Uh, we've got very interesting CMs. Okay. Interesting names. Like, oh, is that the one with the icon and he's literally a panda? Yeah. Eating bamboo. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hi, hi, Panda. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, great. Um, let's just move on to like the community questions. Um, gosh, we the there are quite a lot of. Okay.、Oh. All right. Can see in here. Uh. Light beam rotate. Oh, oops! Sorry, that we, we made it. We made it. It was like it was like a halo of light. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a question from Kester. What's Engine's take on the potential disruption of VR technology and blockchain and crypto in general? Okay, so VR. Um, actually, Godot just launched、uh, their three point zero. Um, and that has an AR and VR capabilities、um, locked in. So basically, any engine that supports VR and AR, we were there. So、mm. because we're providing the SDKs for these. Oh, amazing! Okay, cool. Okay, next question. Engine will probably be adopted by indie games first through free SDKs. Do you feel the need for big AAA studios to succeed? Um. Well, our marketing is geared towards anyone, right? So from the lone wolf、uh, indie gamers to the triple A studios,、um, and actually we have、uh, we just onboarded Pat Labine, who、um, was a producer for Mass Effect、um, and games like Hitman.、Mm-hmm. So he knows his triple A games. We also have.、Uh, We onboarded six new senior developers that have all had experiences、oh, wow. in that, and they are、uh, creating our SDKs. So we're building SDKs that can fit and slot right into AAs,、mm-hmm. um, and also, of course, indie indie games. And it, it's going to be kind of we think a snowball effect where gamers are going to start demanding、um, the use of blockchain in games because of all the benefits that it provides. Yeah. And so it'll only be a matter of time before everyone catches on and starts using it. Oh, okay, this is very exciting.、Um, especially the part where you're hiring developers. Oh yeah, yeah like, six new developers straight straight into it. <laughs> they're they're working like crazy on it right、oh, now.、Um, yeah, we're gonna have a developers update soon. Oh, okay.、Yeah. I'll look forward to that. Yeah. <laughs>、um, the next question.、Um, If items are minted when engines at twenty cents and in two years engines twenty dollars, is that a 
problem or a positive. Um, well, it could it could be pegged to the value of the dollar, so it doesn't really have to fluctuate in in that way. Um, it also there will be um, diminishing supply and and those kind of economic things where where the more that it's the more that is minted with engine coin the cheaper it gets to mint mm -hmm. so um, there's more details on that like I'm not um, an economic expert by any means no so <laughs> you can um, look at enginecoin.io and look at the white paper and look at our blog and it explains like all the different details of how this can work economic wise okay awesome stuff um, okay um, that's <laughs> Uh, another question, Lilia will be, will you be my crypto waifu? What is that? <laughs> waifu? Mean? What's waifu? Hmm. Is it wife? 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 Waifu? Waifi? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just skip that question. Yeah. So, like, moving on, yeah. moving on. Um, will people have to own their own ETH to trade items to pay the network? To pay the network, that's a good question. Currently, yes, you would need a bit of ETH to send items on the blockchain because it's, you know, an item on the blockchain. But uh, Affinity will uh, be solving these issues so that you won't need to carry ETH in your wallet mm. to transact on the blockchain. Okay, got it. Um, next question. Will users pay a fee or charge if they melt assets back to engine? If so, will the charge be earned by engine or the game developer and or the game developer? Oh, I see. Uh, no, engine is not charging anything for anything. <laughs> so, zero fees. Yay. Zero fees everywhere. So this is an open source project of, um, you know, we. our goal is to disrupt the gaming industry and our goal is is adoption. So we're, by charging, adoption is going to be hampered greatly. So our goal is pure adoption. And with adoption will come value because of the supply and demand. You know, like the more that people de demand the coins, the less supply there is. Mm, got it. And I see some people like responding, actually actively responding to people's um, questions. Yeah. A lot of innovation comes from indie developers of late, and the attention of gamers is shifting more to its Yeah, own. exactly. Indie I mean, we games. have uh, we have Minecraft that was also you know an indie development, and um, that's one of the biggest games in the world. Mm, wow, Rally is like from your community, I presume, because Rally, yes, Rally is our community manager as well. Yeah. She's mm -hmm. also amazing support. Like every single question you have for the uh, mobile wallet, she's the one that's on it. Wow. She knows everything about this wallet. Oh, that's Inside amazing. Inside and out. Yeah, there's a lot of good comments here. Um, and she's answering a lot of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, question by Monkey Fez. Lilia says a developer could create gold coins for the economy. When they create items, can they mint and them in gold coins instead, instead of eng after that? Wait. Let them create mean? gold coins for the economy when they create items. Can they mint and then in gold coins instead of eng? Uh, so like minting out of the gold coins, like further minting, oh, like double right, minting. Like, right, okay, yeah. <laughs> double minting. <laughs> um, you can actually, I think there is a feature in uh, that they've just did with the smart contract where you can combine items and they can create new items. Oh, so oh, um, interesting. Yeah, so I okay. think with that, would it would be possible to mint further um, different items together and create new items out of it. Mm. Okay, but I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have to check. Let me wait for the dev update. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should check the dev update for that. Okay, and next question, Lily, are you married? Um. Yeah. <laughs> Off the market, you guys. Off the market. <laughs> okay, next question. Um, probably the last one. Are you looking for partnerships in the EU? Would like to explore engine in our app. Oh, awesome! Definitely, we're looking for partnerships all the time. And for anyone who is interested in using Eng in their applications, it doesn't even have to be gaming. Um, please contact us at info at enginecoin.io. We're always answering our mail. Um, we're very open and constantly looking for partnerships um, to explore engine. Oh my. What was it? Uh, info, info at enginecoin.io. 
dot i o. That is for Ro Roald Larson. <laughs> Roald. Boom. Okay. Next question. Will it work with the Chinese game development, development companies? Oh, certainly. I mean, I think I'm pretty sure uh, SDKs like. Uh, Sorry, game engines like Unreal and Unity are international. I'm fairly sure that they don't have very specific um, engines. So yeah, if you have a game that is accepted by um, that is on these engines, then definitely Engine Coin will sit right in. Great. Oh wow! And then the questions keep coming. There's one more. Um, will Engine look at creating a game to promote the, the function? function. Uh, yeah, so at the GDC, we, we have um, a kind of a demo game, if you will, um, that will be showcasing like the different uh, things that will go on in the game. And also, uh, yeah, we're definitely looking into that, but I can't reveal anything right now. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, wow. I think, um, I don't know if there's going to be any more questions, but I think we should wrap up. I think we're wrapping, yeah. We'll, we'll wrap we did some good time there. Yeah, 45 minutes. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Lilia. Oh, thanks for having us and for <laughs> listing us on Cryptos. It's going to be any minute now, guys. We're going to be listing on Cryptos, so Yay. get your end ready to trade or hodl, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a big hodler. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, oh, do you want to take? Do you want to take these oh, two? Oh yes, the coin drops <laughs> to Minecraft community is going to start post GDC. Yes, so we will need to first create the Minecraft plugin, and then we're going to start our big push on Engine uh, Network, where we have thousands of already active Minecraft servers. Um, so we'll start there, but you know, if you are a big Minecraft server and you're interested in using Engine Coin, you could also just contact us, and we can also look into airdrops for you as well. Definitely. Mm. Okay. So other question: of The long-term earning models for Engine come, come from, from the partnerships. Um, earning models for Engine. So right now, um, like actually, I think I already answered this before. So we're not we're not looking to earn. Um, right now um, off of anything that we're creating and this is all open source um, and what what does happen is the value of engine will rise with the growing demand and so adoption is our goal last question next big partnership What's the next big partnership? I can't say it, <laughs> but there is definitely a really large partnership coming up, which we're very excited to announce, I believe, next month. So stay tuned, sign up to our Telegram update channel instead of just joining the community, sign up to the updates channel, and that will just give you all the announcements whenever we announce them. Awesome. All right, 546. Signing off from Singapore. It's from Singapore. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks. Bye. And don't forget, trade on crypto. Trading on cryptos. Yes. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.